Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most powerful features in DaVinci Resolve 19, which is called Power Bins. Now, if you use this effectively, this can save you hours of editing time. Now, what exactly are Power Bins? Power Bins are supercharged folders that lives in your media pool. You always have access to it. So once you drag something into your Power Bin, it stays there, it lives there, so so it doesn't matter what project you open, you always have access to those files. Whether it's logos, intros, outros, music, sound effects, all of those things, it lives in your power band and you always have access to those. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how I use power bands and if you do the same, it will save you a ton of time. So when you open up DaVinci Resolve, make sure that the power bands tab is open. You can do that by simply clicking these three dots and make sure that it says show power bins. So once you activate that, you'll see power bins here on the left. And what you want to do for each project is to create a new bin and rename it to whatever the project is that you're working on. So in this case, it's Swang Guide. And I do all the YouTube video editing. So go check it out. It is a really cool channel that shows you amazing places to stay all across the world. So what I like to do whenever I finish a project is to apply the same grade across all projects. That way it fits in with the brand of this channel. So in this case, I've got an adjustment layer with this grade applied to it. And I want to use this same grade across multiple projects. So the easiest way to do this is to simply click and drag this adjustment layer into my Swang Guide folder. And here you can see that it's got the adjustment layer and you can just go ahead and rename that to Swang Guide. So whenever I'm done with a project, I can simply just click and drag drag this onto my project and it applies the same grade across all projects. So when I then go to another project, I can simply go into my smart bin, click on the Swang Guide folder I created and there is the adjustment layer I just created and that I can then use across all projects. And this saves me a ton of time. The other thing that you can do is usually within these uh, Swang Guide projects, there's usually ratings that pops up during the video that rates different things like pillows, food, all of those different things. And what I can do whenever I render out a rating, I can simply also drag that into the Swang Guide folder and I can actually rename that pillows nine. Standard, this element was adjusted in the zoom property and the position property. So if I cancel that, you can see. And so I had to adjust it to the same to a location and when I save that into the power bin it actually saves all of those prop transform properties as well so you don't have to add those transform properties every time you add this clip and that saves a lot a lot of time another use case for um, how to use the power bins to save you time is to create adjustment layers with different zooms. So whenever you edit interviews like this, for example, I sometimes like to zoom in a little bit. And so instead of actually cutting up the clip to zoom into a, a certain area, I can simply create an adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I can adjust the zoom and the position. So, and this would be a mid close up. So in this case, I would just create a new bin that says interviews. And in the interviews folder, I can drag and drop this adjustment clip. So whenever I edit my video and I wanna zoom in a little bit closer, I can just call that close up to you. I can simply drag this adjustment layer onto my timeline and adjust the length of it. And whenever I play over this adjustment layer, it zooms in. And that saves me a ton of time. 